Hey everybody, my name is Nick Volgaris and welcome to Kerber's Farm. We're standing in our new school. We converted one of these older barns here at the farm into this amazing 32 seat classroom. Kerber's Farm has this amazing little ecosystem where we're hoping to teach everyone what we're doing here and how easy it is to apply some of these practices at home. We have organic vegetables out in our field here. We grow tomatoes, peppers, uh, fresh parsley and so forth. And we're gonna be using that today in one of our recipes. Uh, to continue with that ecosystem, we have fresh uh, eggs that come from our laying hens. We have close to 200 laying hens that give us organic eggs. Each hen gives us one egg per day. Um, we also have honeybees that help pollinate the property. And so this ecosystem is really neat where we get the vegetables from the garden, the scraps from the vegetables are used to feed uh, the chickens. The vegetables are either sold in our farm stand or used in recipes like we're going to use today. And then from the chickens, we get these amazing eggs that are used in our famous egg sandwiches in the store, uh, as well as our omelet that we'll be doing. Now, two years ago, we published our first cookbook, Kerber's Farm Cookbook, published by Rizzoli. We have an amazing assortment of recipes in this book that we'll be doing in our cooking series here. And what's really, really amazing about Kerber's Farm is it dates back into the 1940s. And I used to come here in the 1980s with my mom, and it was this really beautiful Norman Rockwell scene at the side of the street. I don't know if you can see in some of these uh, images in the background here, but it's this cute little store on the side of the road, and they sold chickens and eggs and vegetables. And by 2013, the farm was abandoned and it was gonna be developed into condominium. So I was able to save it, and really it's been a passion to restore all the buildings reopen the store and now build this school and part of the the mission of the school is to teach children the importance of sustainability organic farming practices and growing your own food so if you'll step out with me into the farm we're going to grab some uh, fresh vegetables for this omelet and then go visit our laying hens in the chicken coop and gather some eggs We're standing in our garden at Kerber's Farm. This is a 100% organic uh, vegetable garden, an herb garden. We don't use any pesticides or chemicals. All of this uh, bounty that you see here is, is natural. Uh, and you can see our thriving sage that we use in a lot of vegetable dishes, which is really coming in great this year. I have already picked some tomatoes, peppers, and parsley. So let's head back now. So you saw our, our main garden where we grow a lot of our vegetables, but we also have planted these really cute container gardens, which if you don't have a lot of property or you live in uh, an urban area or in a city, you want to do a little rooftop garden or maybe even something on a fire escape. These are 24 inch by 24 inch uh, wooden boxes that we've built here and they hold all sorts of vegetables. This one we do uh, parsley. We have some fresh tarragon and there's some tomatoes here. You see there's a red one down there, some green ones up here. Um, and you can really pick whatever you want. You can do eggplant, zucchini, cucumbers. Um, since, since we do a lot of summer salads here at Kerber's, it's nice to do a little bit of herbs as well. So you can have basil and parsley. Um, and if you can see behind us, these are our hens. We have about 200 laying hens here. We're gonna go into the chicken coop and gather some eggs for our omelet. So let's go. Come on, guys. We're standing in one of the many chicken coops here at Kerber's farm, and you can see we have uh, quite a few different hens running around. We have five different breeds in here that give us these amazing different eggs. We have Rhode Island Reds, we have Bucks, we have Easter Layers, and actually you can see here we have a bunch of eggs that they've just laid. The Easter Egg Layers give us these beautiful blue eggs, so I'm gonna gather a few for our omelet. and head back into the kitchen.
We have these really amazing organic peppers. One of the, the great things about having your own vegetable garden is you know what is in the ground and in the soil. So we don't use any chemicals. Um, when you go to the supermarket, sometimes organic vegetables can be very expensive. So if you grow these at home, you know exactly what you're putting in the soil. And also, it doesn't cost you very much at all, especially if you start with the small seedlings or seeds like we do here at Kerber's. I'm gonna add those peppers to my bowl. So I'm gonna cut up a little parsley, and this is the flat parsley. Just a little cut here. I like my vegetables chunky in an omelet, so I'm not gonna go too fine. Just run a knife through there a little bit like so. Throw it in the bowl. Now I have my pan somewhat hot. Add a little more butter to it. Again, this is the vegan butter. There's a nice sizzle to that, so I know that my vegetables are ready to go in. Now, <clears throat> this obviously is smoking a little bit, but if you caramelize the onions a little bit in here, it'll bring out the sweetness in the onions, which is nice. Put a little dab of butter in there. Head over to the refrigerator, get some milk, which will go into the eggs as I scramble them and that gives the uh, omelet a little body and fluffiness. Now this is a trick I learned when I was younger. It's actually how to crack an egg with one hand, which I was very petrified when I was growing up. So if you look at your index finger here and your forefinger, what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up, after you crack it, you're gonna pull the shell backwards like this. So, let me see if I can actually do it since we're on camera. Give it a crack and then pull it back. It opens it and it drops into the bowl. You can look like a professional at home, impress all your friends. It's actually a very simple trick that goes a long way. Like so. And add about two tablespoons of milk. Did that by eye. Give that a nice scramble. a little hot. I'm going to wait for that to cool down a bit. Now you can add whatever you like to your eggs. Some people like adding hot sauce. I'm going to do a little pepper here, a little salt, and get that into the pan. Our vegetables are coming out nicely here. Now there's two rules of thumb when it comes to an omelet. Some people like putting the vegetables onto the raw omelet uh, and then folding it over. Other people like to flip the omelet and then put the vegetables in. So I'm gonna do the former, let the vegetables cook with it, like so. Now would be the time if you wanna add cheese. So I think we have some American cheese in the refrigerator. This is pre-sliced American, very easy to work with. You can just lay it over the top like so. And then at the end, I'm gonna fold it so it all uh, melts together. And what actually happens is the cheese, when, it, when you fold the omelet over, it holds it together. So when you cut through it, it doesn't break apart. So I'm just gonna test to see how this is looking. A little trick is you pull the omelet up and let that liquid run down underneath and it helps cook it quicker. Instead of having a lot of raw eggs still in the middle. Give that a little mix. Loosen the edges. Just give that a fold over. And it's just about done. I'm going to shut the heat so it doesn't overcook without burning my rubber spatula here. I'm just going to loosen the bottom and she looks ready to come out. Look at that. Beautiful. Give a little garnish on the side. And here you have your beautiful three egg omelet from Kerber's farm using our organic vegetables, tomatoes and peppers. And let me give a little cut into it so you can see what it looks like. The, um, the milk in the eggs, as I mentioned, makes it really fluffy. 
Yeah, look at that. It's all melted together very nicely. And that is gonna be a great breakfast. Well, we really hope you enjoyed our first class on omelet making. Next up will be our class on making our homemade apple pie. If you sign up for the class online, you'll receive in the mail this wooden crate that has all the ingredients in it for you to follow along at home as I do it here in the kitchen at Kerber's Farm School. You'll get our homemade apple pie filling that we make here uh, using apples, sugar, cinnamon, and a little bit of homemade clove, which is my mom's uh, secret recipe, which gives that really great vintage flavor. We have a little bit of our uh, pie crust mix, and then what's really neat is you get a glass uh, pie plate so you'll have everything here to make your own pie except for the butter and water and we hope that you'll sign up and cook along with me.